Ukrainian defense forces began their invasion of Russia's Kursk region on August the 6th, and over the course of that month, the Kursk operation has significantly changed the situation on the front line, as military expert and retired Ukrainian army colonel Roman Svitan noted in a commentary to Channel 24, the Ukrainian military now has the ability to tie down the Russians even more. According to him, the Kursk operation changed the architecture of military operations, creating a new northern front. We have finally turned towards the enemy. Now we have the northern front. That's how it should have been, the expert noted. According to him, how events will develop in the Kursk region will depend on the number of troops that the Russian command will transfer there. At the same time, the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to tie down thousands of troops of Russians in this area. The Kursk operation could go from control to tying down the Russians. Then we will tie up hundreds of thousands of Russian troops if they decide to stop us, Svitan said. He also stressed that the Ukrainian military needs to carry out strikes towards Moscow and not stop moving in this direction. Then, according to the expert, the Russians will be even more confused. Commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, said in an interview with CNN that the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region has slowed down the Russian army's advance in the Pokrovsk sector. Everything possible is being done to ensure that the town of Pokrovsk is not lost. Defenses are being strengthened there. Of course, the enemy has concentrated his best trained units in the Pokrovsk direction, but we have deprived him of the opportunity to maneuver his units and redeploy his reinforcement units from other areas," said Sirsky. He noted that despite the fact that Russia has not moved many troops from the Pokrovsk region, with the exception of one Marine Brigade, the enemy can no longer maneuver reserves as before. As a result, the enemy's pressure is easing in other areas. According to Sirsky, the number of artillery attacks and the intensity of offensive actions have decreased. The Pokrovsk direction remains the most problematic for us. In other areas, the situation has become more stable. Therefore, I believe that this strategy was chosen correctly and will bring us the desired result," he concluded. As a reminder, Mykola Melnik, a company commander of the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade, recently stated that there is no stabilization in the Pokrovsk sector and that Russian invaders continue to advance. Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko summarized the first month of Ukraine's operation in Russia's Kursk region. On his Telegram channel, Alexander Kovalenko reported that Ukrainian forces have achieved significant progress by capturing approximately 1,300 kilometers squared of territory in Russia's Kursk region. This advance has established a buffer zone along the border with Ukraine's Sumy region. According to Kovalenko, Ukrainian forces have successfully compelled the Russian military to redeploy resources and troops from other combat zones in Ukraine to the Kursk region. He noted that as of early August, the Russian troop presence in Kursk was around 10,000 personnel, but it has since grown to 35,000. Russian units involved, the 155th Guards Naval Infantry Brigade, the 56th Guards Air Assault Regiment, the 810th Guards Naval Infantry Brigade, the 11th Guards Air Assault Brigade, the 144th Guards Motor Rifle Division, the 71st Motor Rifle Regiment, the 38th Separate Guards Motor Rifle Brigade, the 64th Separate Guards Motor Rifle Brigade, the 200th Separate Motor Rifle Brigade are engaged, the Pyatnachka Brigade, Kovalenko mentioned that there are rumors of the presence of Akhmat forces, but Ukrainian troops have yet to encounter them. Recently, President Volodymyr Zelensky disclosed the number of Russian losses in the Kursk region, stating that 6,000 Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded. According to the military expert, with the current Russian force size at 35,000, the total Russian troop commitment in the Kursk region over the past month amounts to approximately 41,000. Despite the reinforcements, Russian troops are struggling to stabilize the situation and continue to lose territory. Kovalenko suggested that this might force Russia to deploy additional forces, potentially increasing their presence in the Kursk region to at least 50,000. 
Kovalenko added that Ukrainian forces have disrupted Russian logistics by cutting the crucial rail link through Sudza and targeting key roadways, including the E-38 highway from Kursk to Rilsk. They have also seized the largest gas distribution station in Sudza, a significant strategic asset. Initially, Russian representatives declared an end to negotiations with Ukraine, including those concerning prisoner exchanges. However, Kovalenko reported that on August the 24th, a prisoner exchange took place, with 115 prisoners from each side being exchanged. Kovalenko concluded that the Kursk operation has inflicted a level of humiliation on Russia not seen since World War II, emphasizing the significant impact on Russia's reputation and the ongoing difficulties in addressing and countering the Ukrainian advances.